Uh, I think the good thing about it, nobody's getting ready just yet. Um, obviously, missing time, right? He's gonna have to knock off some dust, and we'll just evaluate it day by day. But to say, you know, when he's gonna be ready or when he's not, it's kind of on him a little bit. What have, what have you seen from him? Um, you know, a week and a half he's been back. Just knocking off rust. You know, as a defensive back, you miss a few weeks, right? When everybody else is already rolling, receivers kind of knock their dust off. Might be a step late, step, you know, ahead in certain movements. So. We just got to continue to manufacture some reps for him that we can make up some lost time. At, at 100%, what does he add to your roster? Oh, uh, some experience, right? Um, we got a lot of bodies in there that, you know, have some talent, have some abilities. But again, you get better at football by playing football. So you get somebody that's played in the football game before, right? That obviously brings value to our team. Yeah. You, I'm sure you watched Jaden on tape from last year. What, what, what have you seen him? How, how he's elevated his game? I think uh, for, for Jaden, you know, uh, he's got the, the necessary tools in terms of the movement skills. Um, for him, it's all about production on the ball. That's something that he and I have had discussion about him and his goals into the future that, you know, he'll put him closer to his goals if he gets his hands on more footballs. So, uh, we all know that he can run, he can jump, he can catch, he can do all of those things. Um, the next evolution of his game is obviously, you know, becoming a better leader for us because he's one of those guys who, who's been around a long time. Uh, but at the same time, man, he's got to make production on the ball for us to be the best second that we can be. For him, is that, is that just being more aggressive in some scenarios? Oh, I think it's just confidence, right? I think the, the, the difference between playing receiver, right? You don't have to worry about someone else scoring a touchdown, right? So a lot of times when that ball's in the air, there's a second level of thinking in terms of a defensive back that, hey, I want to pick this ball, but if I don't pick this ball, then they're going to score. So just having the confidence in the body position, right? Making sure we're in phase on our routes, that brings the confidence, right? You're going to type of football at the highest point. To see that come out with him a little bit this week? Though? Yeah, he's had some opportunities that he's made. He has some opportunity that he hasn't. And, you know, we just go back and look at the tape and try to evaluate what we could have done better. Like, likewise with Noble, where have you seen him kind of make the biggest strides based off his tape from last year? And kind of what you saw I think he's stronger. You know what I mean? He's a little bit better in the run fit, right? They would assess some edges. Um, you know, in terms of him skill wise, movement wise, you know, he's taking another step forward in consistency. And that's what we need him to do. And if he's going to play big boy snaps for us. So I think his eye discipline has gotten a lot better. And uh, just for him, just functionality, right? How to operate, right? Get ourselves in line, nipple right, nipple left, things of that nature that he's got to get get these two going more than 10 or 15 times. Right now we're going to actually play up to 40 plus nights. Right? So that consistency is going to be key as he moves forward. When you're looking at all the players in your position group, what are you looking for when you're looking for a nickel? Uh, just a, a diverse skill set. You know, a nickel is somebody that's got to be quick enough to cover on the outside but also physical enough that they can get in a tackle fit, right? Go fit a B gap, right? And be able to rush the passer as well. So you're kind of looking for a tweener if you would, right? It definitely has a long speed in order to do it, but he's got to be a little bit more diverse in his skill set than more so a corner would be. Uh, you may, you don't see many corners going in the B gap to go attack and run fit. So it's got to be a little bit more contact courage at that position than you would see at corner or on the outside. So that's the biggest difference in, in those positions that those guys got to go get in the run fit and get their hands dirty, right? And outside, Offense can manufacture ways to put you in the run fit, but more times than not, you'll be out of the fit. And why, why, does, why does Noble fit in that, in that group? Then? Just length, athleticism, right, and the ability to set an edge. You know, I think uh, that's, an, that's an ability that football is played, right, by setting edges and running to the football. So if you got good edges, we should be solid, right, with everything else. So he does a really nice job at setting edges, uh, but he also does a nice job with coverage. So when you combine the two, that should be the making of a solidified nickel that can help us out. Programs will kind of mix and match their nickels and put in a certain guy based on kind of their coaching personality. Are you guys planning to do that, or is it kind of hoping the noble kind of makes that up? I think it just depends it? on how you structure your system. I think some people structure their system with the nickel, right, being in the run fit more times than not. So that's probably got to be a bigger body. Um, that's not necessarily how we're structured, right? It can be structured that way, but that's not necessarily our bread and butter. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a run fitter, right, on early down. So. It's, it's a little bit more philosophical differences on how we align our defense versus other teams we do. Lost a lot of experience at safety. Uh, how are the young guys coming up? Where do you see that position? Different? You know, sun ups and sun downs, right? It's going to be good days. It's going to be bad days. And the good thing about football and the thing that people on the outside may not realize is that we're installed. Okay, you might install the upwards of 10, 11 calls that are going to be, but I guarantee you we're not going to run 12 calls on a game day. So a lot of these guys are processing a lot of information, but if we were to play a game, right, that menu will be reduced so they're able to function and play a lot faster. So those guys are growing each and every day. It helps when you have guys like Jack Kane, you know, AJ, having those guys, Scott, been in the room to kind of, you know, kind of prompt a little bit more communication. 
um, in the room, right, in terms of us getting confidence in the meeting. We just needed to translate with that second unit of guys on the grass and be a little bit more faster and what we call playing ahead of the snap, right, because everything's nice when the offense is static and they don't move, right, but no defense is static once the offense is moved. So it's getting to that next level of thinking, anticipatory in our thought process, right, to make sure that when it moves, we move and we know exactly where we're going, and that's communicated and echoed across the whole defense. The secondary as a whole, where do you feel like you guys still have the most room to grow? Uh, I think the most room to grow is going to be the experience part of it, right? We got a lot of bodies that we feel that can do a lot of different things just in terms of their skill set. Uh, I think it's on us and finding the right combination of people, right, so we can get a lot of bodies in there. We got some competitive depth, we feel. Um, all these guys do different things on the field very well. Some cover well, some are more physical than others. Uh, some guys are really good down down in, uh, in the box. Some guys are good in the post. So it's on us as a staff to find the right combination and packages, right, so we can use the depth to our advantage. At what position do you feel like it's, it's the closest call when it comes down to naming a starter? What's the, what's the closest battle? I think, uh, you know, in the secondary, so it's still we're going hot right now at corner, right? I think Andre George is having a really nice camp right now. Um, Kobe's adding himself in the mix. Mason White's done a really nice job in terms of what his skill set is and bringing a certain value to that room that maybe everyone else doesn't necessarily possess. Um, I'm really impressed where Exodus is right now to be a young kid. We're going to continue to develop and, and push him to see what his ceiling could be, see if he can help us out this season. So I think corner is really, really tight there. You know, I think, uh, you know, that next unit of safeties is pretty tight between those guys as well, right? Those guys are taking turns, whether it's Tyrese Ivey or, you know, Jaheim Patterson, right, or Marion York, those guys are taking turns having a good day, right? So we just want somebody to take some ownership of that deal, right? And some of that stuff's going to be played out on the grass, right? Because, uh, you know, it's good to play out here on, on, on practice days, and sometimes those are tag tempo and thud tempo, but who's going to get guys on the ground, right? Who's going to make plays when the ball's in the foot, uh, when the ball's in the air? And some of that stuff can't be answered, right, until we get to play a real football game. What do you think about Jaheim so far? I think should, should. when he steps off the bus, we want him to step off first, right? When you talk about guys who have size, athleticism, you know, he's got a certain level of physicality that he brings to the game. And I think as he continues to grow and mature, right, and his dedication towards the scheme and the things outside of the 20-hour work week, I think his potential is going to continue to grow. Um, because when you see him out there on the field, when he decides to go, it's a difference maker, right? You got a 6'4 body that can run 4'5". Right, and put his hat on people, not afraid to get in there in the fire. So that's something that we covered in terms of his skill set. Right, we just need him to come on long. Right, we talk about bringing the floor, the room up in terms of our mental knowledge. Right, we want to bring him up with the rest of the guys in terms of like AJ. Right, get guys like Skyler, guys like Jack who can communicate and operate efficiently. Right, we sit those guys right next to Jaheim. Right, and it's not a situation where you know we're not trying to help one another in the room. Right, we're all going to play. Right? I think everybody understands that the days of defensive backs playing 85 snaps 12 times, those days are over with. Right, if you want to have the guys healthy and especially to have any opportunity, you know, to play plat past here, right, they're going to need to not necessarily play 85 plays every single snap. So I think for us, we just want to continue to build competitive depth, right, understanding that hey, the details matter and the guys that execute during the practice week and the guys that correlate that game plan on the grass, those guys are going to roll. What have you seen on size so far? Man, size probably the best athlete in the room, to be honest. Right, uh, he's quick, quick, quick on quick. Right, for him, you know, he's a guy that, that that's got to continue to grow for us to be our natural potential. Okay, with us having a lot of guys in the room that have different skill sets, we need guys like Sai to step around so we can move guys around on third down and really get into our exotic packages and things like that that we've been working on. Obviously, we got to stop the run on first and second down in order to get to those situations, but I think Sai brings a different coverage value to us in terms of his ability to redirect, change direction, and also to stay on top of routes. But he's probably the best athlete in, in the room right there, so we need him to continue to grow. He's going to add versatility to that package. Last question. Thanks, Coach. All right, appreciate y'all.